All right, guys. What I'm doing here now is changing the spark plugs. We got a nice miss going on. You see, I capped off the port for the EGR. I think it was sucking air. I had to tighten it up. And these headers came with the block off plate. Bought these headers used for $215. So I knew it was somebody that got them and, and didn't like something about them or wanted their money back because they overspent or. So I went ahead and got them used. They're normally $260. I went ahead and got them for $213. Uh, the only thing was is just that. <clears throat> The uh, pace setter, pace setter header, um, it just um, it had this O2 bung over here was just like uh, in the wrong spot. It's kind of facing up at the firewall. So all I did was put a block off in there and. Uh, I'm going to show you guys, I welded up my own 3 inch pipe on here. I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. Let me finish doing these plugs. So what I did is just loosen them all up for now. Loosen up all the plugs. Do not run auto lights in here, please. Any Chevrolet engine with the LS setup, do not run auto lights. Not the way to go. Make sure the truck is cool. It's first thing in the morning. So. Engine nice and cool. I ain't got to worry about nothing. having a real kind of miss <coughs> one thing to look out for is if your coils oh we did have a bad coil too one of the things that can cause bad coils is bad plugs and you also want to make sure that these bolts are tight these ones that mount on the plate because those need to be good and tight because those are the groundings for your coil so if you have paint on there you need to rub off a little bit of paint or sand off you know a little bit of paint right here on top where that bracket meets because that's how your coil is ground Don't run these. Auto lights? No, 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 no. Big no no. NGK. Platinums. These are platinums. See the little iridium tip? NGK. That's what we want. Speed up process. <coughs> I'm gonna speed that
and tie. This one should be loose. So I had a real bad power steering leak. So it's got the belt all mushy. So I'm gonna have to creep over here to the dang O'Reilly's to grab another belt. Alright, last one. So I usually come at it like this. this and put it in. plugs were in there was because I didn't buy none at the time so I just reused what I had today yeah. you got going on today you see my new truck Oh, 
Okay, so they usually give you Mondays off. See what it does. Oh yeah, I need to put the belt back on.